I went to the bank today to ask if there were any customer rolled coins that had come in that I could buy. They gave me this box of coins. Despite what it looks like, this is not $250 worth of dimes. Welcome back to Quarter Bash, everybody. I'm Dave. Do me a favor before we get started, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and maybe give this video a like. Although, if you want to wait till the end to decide if you like the video, that would be cool. But subscribe right away. That would be the best for all of us, I think. Okay, here's what's going on. Copper count. So, I have decided that I'm keeping copper pennies. The late 50s all the way up through 1982, copper pennies. I'm going to start keeping those, and I'm running a thing called the copper count. It is currently sitting at 255. 255 pennies in the copper count. So, of course, I'm keeping my eyes open. This penny popped up in Michael Ann's purse the other day. It is a 1977 copper penny. This makes the copper count 256. All right. So that's what we're starting with, 256. And I have a little scale here now, so I can check my 82s and 83s to see if they are copper or zinc. All right, let's get to this. This is the box they sent me home from the bank today when I inquired about coins. And what this is, is just a box that had lying around. I went up to, there were two tellers. I went in and I said to the first teller, do you have any customer rolled pennies? I'd love to get a hold of some pennies. She said, you know what? I've got one roll of 50 cent. But then the teller right next to her said, oh, I've got a bunch. I've got a bunch here. And I'd be totally happy if you took them off my hands. So I asked her how many she had. I got 20 rolls, $10, customer rolled pennies. And since I haven't had any coins from the bank for a long time, I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to see just how many copper pennies there might be in uh, in 20 rolls, customer rolled pennies from the bank. So let's uh, let's give that a shot. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna run you through this. You don't have to see it penny by penny. I'll speed it up, put all of the pennies I don't wanna keep over to one side, all my copper pennies and anything special or weird or foreign over to another side. And uh, yeah, in the end we'll come back. As we go, as I find 82s and 83s, I'll be weighing them on this little scale. Obviously, if I find an 83 copper, I'm going to stop and let you know about it. Um, if there's any other penny year that I should be weighing, let me know in the comments. I think there is one in the 90s that ha was a mistake. And now I just I can't remember off the top of my head. I think I may have even talked about it before. Ah, let me know in the comments if there's anything else I should be looking for. All right, let's do this. I don't have enough light. Let me fix that. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. Okay. This one is taped shut. Like it's different than the others. I'm gonna keep this one to the end.
Okay, last penny roll. This is the one that's taped up on both sides. I don't know why someone would do that. That seems a little obsessive, even for me. Okay, this taped roll did not have any pennies before 1983. There were two 1983 pennies in the roll, which I will weigh, but all newer, all non-copper. So I'm glad I didn't get an entire box of these. Every other roll had multiple copper pennies and some other odd stuff. So get to that in a minute. I'll give you a little summation here when I get it all figured out. Okay, we've got this thing set to zero. We've got 26 1982 pennies. If they weigh 3.1, they're copper and I keep them. We'll just say that one's worn. All right, 12. 12 of my 1982s are not copper. Um, is there any reason to keep a 1982 that's not copper? Let me know in the comments. Let's move on now to the 83s. So if one of these comes out at 3.1, I should be pretty excited, yeah? Last one. Okay, that's what we'd expect. I would really be surprised if I were to find any 1983 copper. All right, let's move on to the next thing. All right, in these 20 rolls of pennies, there were seven Canadian pennies with this 1968 right here being the oldest one. Okay, and here's the final summation for the night. Out of those 20 rolls of pennies, $10 worth of pennies, I got 225 pennies that were copper verified all from the late 50s to 1982. We checked them on the scale. And the reason why I set these four aside is because I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it, but compared to the others, they're just so nice. This is a 1963. 1972, 1981, and in 1982. And just, just these being this bright and clean with all these very dark brown pennies, I thought I should just keep them, keep them separate so they don't end up looking like those in the long run. So adding these pennies to my copper count, that brings the copper count to a total of 481 pennies. All right. Thank you so much for coming along on this one with me. I will return the remainder of the pennies to the bank and get some more just as soon as I get the opportunity. See you next time. All right. Hey, so I thought the video was over. I think I said goodbye and all that, but something was not sitting right with me. 
the end of this video and I realized that I had not weighed the 1982 pennies in my original batch from the copper count. So I could have some that were not that were not copper in there because I didn't have the scale originally. So I searched through that original amount and I found that I had 20 1982 pennies in there. And wouldn't you know it, 10 weighed out to be copper and 10 just whatever, zinc, whatever they're made out of. So that means my copper count is not 481, it's 471. Hopefully this will be the only time I have to take a number off. All right. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. We're at the end of the video now, so if you decided you liked it, give it a like. All right. Thanks. See you next time.